Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Alas and in this video I'm super excited to check out the brand new Phoenix E35 3100 lumen flashlight. We're going to find out what features it has to offer and what the pros and cons are to help you decide if it's right for your everyday carry outdoor adventure or next tactical mission. Also a big thank you to Phoenix for sending this flashlight in for testing and evaluation and as always you will get my unbiased and honest opinions on gear. Make sure you're subscribed and following us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's get right into it. This Phoenix E35R is a part of their everyday carry collection. So it's certainly pocket friendly coming in at just 4.72 inches overall, which is definitely much more slender than the Phoenix TK20R V2 we recently did a review on. The body of this flashlight has a thickness of 0.98 inches and towards the head flares up just a little bit at 1.04 inches. So again, very easy to carry around in your pocket. The body of this flashlight has some excellent knurling and traction and it consists of 6066 T6 aluminum with a type three hard anodized finish coating to help prevent against any scratches and abrasions. I also really enjoy the texture they went with on this flashlight. It really helps enhance the grip in the hand, but it doesn't shred your pockets. Speaking of which, we have a medium right height pocket clip with some milled out work, and this only comes in at 5.22 ounces with the battery included. On the flip side to this, with the pocket clip, it's not reversible. You can't even pop it off and switch it around, which I think is a downside because I would have loved to been able to slap this onto my ball cap and use it as an impromptu headlamp or even just change around the carry positions if on a backpack. However, a redeeming feature is the magnetic tail switch, which I really enjoy for being able to put this up against something metal for some hands-free illumination. For example, maybe a car hood if you're working on that, or even in a workshop environment on a metal tool chest. It also is completely flat, so you can set this down and tail stand it to help illuminate a room like a candle or lantern. Something fun that actually helped save my butt is when I lost my Zippo lighter, duct tape and paracord, I was able to fish it out because it stuck to it, so you can actually fish out some small tools in an impromptu uh, retrieval situation. I think it is extremely important to reiterate the fact that this does not have tail switch activation, momentary, constant, nothing. It is all controlled via the side switch here and it does have some LED lights in there so you know when the flashlight's on and the battery life indication. Once on, you are met with six different modes. We have an eco mode of 30 lumens which will run for 69 hours which is quite impressive. The low goes for 150 lumens and that'll reach 21 hours and 20 20 minutes of runtime. The medium here goes for 350 lumens at 9 hours and 20 minutes. The high bumps it up to 1000 for 3 hours and 40 minutes. And impressively, the turbo comes in at 3100 lumens and that'll go for 2 hours and 30 minutes. We also have that strobe setting that'll go for 3,100 lumens for however long you use the strobe. When on, you'll notice the flashlight has a very wide beam and I really enjoy this for utilitarian tasks. It also sports a candela rating of 15,103. The beam is more of a flood beam, very wide and dispersed with a candela rating of 15,103. And I think it's actually advantageous for this light to have that wider beam, making it great for utilitarian tasks. When it is time to recharge this flashlight, it has a rubber charging port that's very easy to come off and it has a USB Type-C cable included in the box, which is awesome to see. And it still has an IPX waterproof rating, even with this rubber cover. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the flap on this. I would love to see it more like that Phoenix PD36R because you can't even feel it when rubbing your hands across it. This does come off easy, but again, it's a little bit more for everyday carry. So you might be using it more and recharging it more often. And speaking of EDC activities, that's exactly what this flashlight was made for everyday carry and some light duty outdoor adventure work. And that is even more evident with the user interface on this flashlight. So if you double press it, it'll turn it into lockout mode, which is good for travel or storing it in a backpack until you're ready to use it. To undo that, double press it again, and it'll actually turn on, which is pretty cool. So you can cycle through the modes then. Now, if you go into eco, low, or medium and turn it off, it will have mode memory, meaning that it'll go back to that exact setting you had it on. For example, if you had it on eco, you turned it off, still in eco, cycle through the modes, went to medium, turned it off, it's gonna be back in medium. Now it gets interesting when you go to the high or turbo settings, it will go back down to the medium of 350 lumens. For example, if you have it on that turbo setting, turn it off, it's coming back on in 350 lumens. And just for added clarification, if you're using this to scan a field in turbo and you turn it off, 
When you turn it back on again, it will be down into the medium setting. And if you want that turbo again, you're gonna have to double click it to cycle through those modes. This is extremely disadvantageous if you're looking for a tactical flashlight. You're not gonna be able to quickly access those lumens when you need to, because it takes a half press to turn on and off this flashlight. However, because this is an everyday carry flashlight, it's actually a little bit more advantageous because you're not gonna blow out your night vision when looking for a bag or taking the dog out for a walk and looking for those hot deposits. If you are looking for more of those tactical settings for instant on, access to strobe, I'd suggest the Phoenix TK20R V2 or maybe something even a little bit more streamlined like the Phoenix PD36R. Now, this does have some limited tactical capability use because of that strobe. You press down and hold it. It'll take about a second to get to the strobe. But the thing I like about this is it looks so innocent. So maybe you work in like a high security area or a non-permissive environment. Because there's no rubber tail switch, you can absolutely use this to get your point across in a personal protection situation. It certainly makes a good force multiplier and it looks very innocent. For me and my preferences for an everyday carry flashlight, I love those tactical stunning capabilities and quick access to turbo. For me, this is a backup flashlight for everyday carry and I actually keep this in my car as a part of my car EDC. I love that magnetic tail switch so I can pop it up and work on anything. And it also has an extremely long battery life so I can set it and forget it. And also I do keep this in lockout mode just in case something rattles around in there and turns it on. For anyone considering this light, it is extremely utilitarian, simple on and off with multiple modes to get you through just about whatever your needs are. And in outdoor adventures, this is perfect for navigating your way back to the tent after the campfire goes out at night. At the time of this review, you can find the Phoenix E35R for around 79 bucks. I'll also put some links down below for the Phoenix TK20R V2 and the PD36R if you're interested in checking out those lights. What are your thoughts on this Phoenix E35R? Let me know in the comment section down below as well as what other lights would you like to see reviewed here on the channel? Are you interested in the PD25R or maybe that LR80R handheld bazooka flash flashlight, let me know what you want to see. If you enjoyed this review or you found it helpful or valuable in any way, shape, or form, please consider dropping a like, sharing, and subscribing as that greatly helps grow the Tactical Tavern. And turn on that bell notification so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gadgets, gear, and everyday carry accessories. While you're there, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind-the-scenes update on gear giveaways and the fun content you won't find here. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you again for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.